In their memorandum, NUM says, among others, that it can no longer keep quiet. While ESCOM is being privatized, what it says is through a back door. It calls on the ANC, Kusatu, SACP, NUMSA and other organizations that shares its point of view to join in what they call the Save ESCOM campaign. The NUM claims there is a plan to take ESCOM away from the public and to let it go to private ownership. It's a lot of, of workers that is going to suffer. Even the coal workers in the mine is going to suffer when we do that. So now we want the ESCOM. To, the ESCOM doesn't privatize and the, the rate, the management of the ESCOM, he must, he must go because he, he don't know how to manage ESCOM. Why do you say that? No, because of the, the thing that is happening. And even, you know that recently we're coming from the low shedding and everything is broken. So now we see there is not fit for that. It demands, among others, that the ESCOM board be dissolved and replaced with an interim board and that the power purchase agreements be reviewed. The SACP, in support of the NUM's demands and protest, says the government must choose either the people or the rich few. If indeed it is a government of the rich few, this government will continue unbundling ESCOM and ultimately privatizing. But if it is the government of the majority people of this country, the workers and the poor, they must abandon that unbundling of ESCOM. They must abandon privatization of state companies. The Minister of Employment and Labour also accepted a memorandum from the NUM demanding offices in rural areas for workers to better serve their needs. The issue of non-performance of ESCO has been a concern for everybody and you know that it's been for a number of years, changing boards, changing management and so on. There needs to be a strategy to deal uh, with a performing ESCO. And I think government has been looking into all the options and uh, there are going to be discussions, even at NetLeg there are going to be discussions with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the workers' representatives. But I think the, the bigger concern, the bigger concern currently is the issue of the energy security. Naisi also told the protesters that government is seriously looking into the issue of possible mandatory vaccinations to deal with the major impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mariska Buerta, SABC News, Cape Town.